Good evening, my lovely ones, or good morning, depending on when you're practicing. Uh, welcome to this hour-long happy flow class. Um, we're going to start lying down today, so get yourself nice and comfy. If you do want to grab any props, you want to grab maybe a block, any bolsters that you might like to have close by for Shavasana. I know I like to have them. Um, anything else just to have um, close to your mat so you can get nice and settled in. And yeah, we're going to start lying down today. So whenever you are ready, no rush, just get yourself settled on the back of the body. We're going to start to just allow those legs maybe to be long, might feel nice and comfortable. Perhaps it feels better to have the feet on the floor, knees to the sky, it might feel softer for the lower back. You can always start maybe opening up into those hips. So bringing soles of the feet together and dropping the knees out wide. And then just depending on what feels right for your body today, your energy levels, perhaps those arms might be out to the side, palms up, or you might rest your hands on your body, maybe to bring a little bit more energy if you're feeling maybe a little bit uh, lethargic, you can always bring your hands overhead and that just sends a little bit more sort of blood flow to the heart space, giving us a bit more energy. So just noticing what you might need today, dropping down into your mat, closing the eyes, and then just start to take some nice deep breaths. Starting to breathe all the way down into the lowest part of the belly, filling up the rib cage, filling up the chest. And then exhale, chest, rib cage, lastly from the belly. So giving yourself this lovely opportunity to just settle on your mat, to settle in this space. And to create this really lovely yogic bubble where the rest of the world gets a little bit hazy and you can fully just focus in on yourself, on your breath, on your body. Sometimes if we've had busy days or if there's just a lot going on for us at the moment, the head and the body can feel disconnected. So the aim of this practice is to connect the two, remembering that we are not separate, that the brain is very much a part of the body and that everything is intertwined here. So perhaps on busy, maybe more stressful days, the body feels tighter and that's very, very normal. And on days where you feel really relaxed, the body feels a little bit looser, a little bit freer. You might even notice that if you've been really tense for a long time and the body finally finds a little bit of release, it might feel even strange sometimes. We're so used to being busy, we don't know what to do with ourselves when we're not. So this is an hour where you get to just exist, be a little bit softer with yourself, a little bit slower, and just connect in with what's going on for you. So the aim of this practice is not to separate the two further, but instead to mesh them, to realize that we are a complete and whole human being we aren't separate from our bodies they are part of us they're trying to tell us things so maybe observe those areas that feel tighter instead of getting annoyed we maybe instead ask ourselves what's going on there what is this trying to tell us And if we are working with anything, any injuries, we just know that we can adjust our practice accordingly. Just taking the time to step on your mat is enough. It's part of the practice. Quite often, the hardest part. 
So as we spend our last couple of moments here, really just starting to set an intention for your practice that feels right today, that resonates in this moment. Allowing that to drop into the mind's eye. When you have that message, when you have that intention, draw it in, take a full in breath. And then exhale, let it go. Let's return to our breath here. Let's breathe some longer breaths down through the body reviving some of that energy when we're ready we can just give those fingers and toes a wiggle depending on where the legs are maybe the knees are out wide use your hands to draw the legs to center and if your knees are bent we're going to extend the legs we're going to reach the arms overhead and just take a nice full body stretch here so point the toes extend through the fingers inhale and then exhale, you're going to draw your knees to the chest, give yourself a nice big squeeze and just gently rock from side to side. Lovely. So releasing that lower back into the earth. And then we just take a moment to pause in center, bring one hand to each knee. Inhale, circle those knees out nice and wide apart. Exhale, circle the knees back round together in center. Inhale, we circle the knees wide. Exhale, round into center. One more time in this direction, inhale and exhale. Let's change over. So inhale the opposite way, exhale round into center. A couple of times, just breathing. Remembering our breath always leads that movement. And then after this last one, draw your knees to center. Give yourself such a nice big squeeze. We're going to place our left foot to the floor, knee to the sky. Flex the right foot, cross ankle on top of the knee. We might stay there just pressing the right thigh away. Or draw the legs into the chest, interlace fingers, maybe behind that left thigh. You could always go behind the left shin if that feels comfortable. And keep those shoulders relaxed, the face nice and soft. And just keep allowing that right knee to maybe press away. So making it a bit more active, you probably feel it a little bit deeper. Breathing into this space. Let's take five more breaths. Two more. Beautiful. So just inhale, release the fingers if you have them. And then exhale, the left foot is going to place back down to the earth. Legs stay as they are. Inhale. Exhale, drop the legs over to the right side. So that right foot stays on top. And you can just gently start to maybe press down with that right foot. So you can feel that big opening all the way through that left front line of the body. The left arm or the arms rather can just come out to the side, wherever feels good. And just breathing, finding that release. Five breaths. Last two. Inhale, and then exhale, draw the legs to center as they are. Then you're going to slide that right thigh all the way on top of the left. Bump your left hip towards the center, guide the legs over to the left side. Bring the right arm out at shoulder height, palm up. And let your right shoulder blade drop down to the earth. Breathing into the belly, breathing into that lower back. Again, five breaths.
Two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale to draw the legs to center. Reset the hips, unravel your legs, hug your knees to your chest, big squeeze. Roll just gently from side to side. Yeah, beautiful. Pause in center. Let's place that right foot down. Flex that left foot, cross ankle on top of the knee. And again, maybe stay there, pressing left thigh away. Maybe draw the legs in, interlacing fingers, wherever feels good. Let's keep the shoulder relaxed, the face soft. Left knee presses away from us. Very natural for one side to feel different. Let's just breathe into those spaces that feel maybe tighter, a little bit more discomfort. Sending those soothing breaths to release. We'll take five more here. Last two. Beautiful. So inhale, release the fingers if you have them. Exhale, the right foot is on the floor. Inhale, exhale, drop the legs over towards that left side. And then you just allow maybe that left foot to press down. So you feel that opening down through that right side. Again, we might feel it slightly differently from side to side. Placing the arms wherever feels good. Relaxing down here. Five breaths. Last two. Inhale. Exhale, draw the legs to center. Slide that left thigh all the way on top, bumping that right hip towards the center, guiding those legs over to the right side. Left arm out at shoulder height, palm up. Again, shoulder blade just releasing down. And then let's breathe down into that belly. Five breaths. Last two. Inhale, and then exhale to draw the legs to center. Reset the hips, unravel those legs. Hug your knees in, big squeeze. And we're gonna find happy baby. So separate those knees, flex the feet, lift the heels to the sky. You can bring your hands to the backs of the thighs, just above the ankles, big toes or outer blades of the feet. Let your tailbone lengthen down, let those knees sink down in towards those arms. Maybe stay in stillness, maybe have a sway. Take three more breaths. Last lovely breath here. Beautiful, inhale. And exhale to release, hug your knees in, big squeeze. And then bring those hands to the backs of the thighs. We're gonna rock and roll up and down the length of the spine. Couple of laurels, couple of rocks. Lovely. Eventually, maybe after the next one, we just roll all the way over and we find our tabletop position. So bring those hands under the shoulders and the knees underneath those hips. Spread those fingers wide, soften into the elbows. We're going to inhale, start to drop the belly, lift the chest, lift the tailbone. Exhale, round through the spine. So press the earth away, draw that navel in. Inhale, drop your belly, shine the heart space through. 
exhale we round and we squeeze let's do that two more times so just stay with your own breath your lovely movement last one beautiful on your next inhale create a lovely flat back and then as you exhale you're going to extend your right leg behind you flex the foot to the toes angle down now rather than dropping into that belly i want you to tuck your tailbone so you start to feel the core muscles engage we could maybe stay with that left hand down or we could maybe extend it out in front we're going to inhale exhale knee to the nose maybe elbow joins into as you round Inhale to open and extend, and then exhale, draw it in. Do that three more times. So inhale to create that length, exhale to squeeze. Last two, inhale, we open out, exhale, we draw in. Last one, inhaling and exhaling. Inhale to open out, exhale, hand and knee come down, tabletop. Inhale, drop your belly, lift chest and tailbone. Exhale to round through the spine. Inhale into a flat back. Let's just keep those knees and hips in one line. Exhale, walk the hands forward, puppy pose. So just melt the chest to the earth. The forehead could come down here. Maybe the chest and the chin if that feels comfortable. We're just keeping the core active by pressing the tops of the feet to the earth. Let's just take three breaths. One more. Lovely. So inhale, press through the palms, lift the chest back up. Exhale, walk your hands back in tabletop. Inhale, drop that belly, lift chest and tailbone. Exhale, round through that spine. Inhale, flat back. And then exhale, we're going to extend our left leg behind us. Flex the foot, toes down. Again, let's tuck that tailbone under, creating that lovely strength here. Right hand could be down or we could extend it out. Inhale, exhale, knee to nose, round and squeeze. Inhale, extend and open out. Exhale, draw it in. Three more times again. Inhale, we open. Exhale, we draw. Two more inhaling and exhaling. Lovely, last one, inhale and exhale. Inhale, extend out, and then exhale, hand and knee come down. Inhale, drop that belly, lift chest and tailbone. Exhale, round through that spine. Beautiful, inhale, flat back, keep spreading through those fingers. Exhale, let's tuck the toes and find downward facing dog. And then just sweeping those hips up and back when you arrive. Taking a moment here, having a pedal, having a little shimmy, having a little sway, whatever feels really good for your body in this moment. Don't be afraid to really be creative with that movement. Remembering this is your body, this is your practice. Just keep pressing through those palms. As you press, you're gonna feel that extension through the side body, lifting those hips even higher to the sky. Don't be afraid to have quite a nice, healthy bend into those knees to create maybe a little bit more extension through that spine. And then the heels melting down towards the earth. Yeah, gorgeous. Let's find some stillness. Let's take one more breath here. Beautiful. Inhale, you're going to sweep your right leg to the sky. Exhale, bend the knee and open your hip. So split that dog hip trying to drop that right shoulder down, maybe lifting that knee higher. Inhale, exhale, knee to the nose and step that foot between the hands. Lovely, drop down to the back knee and tuck your toes. Inhale, sweeping the arms up, we find low lunge. Exhale, relax those shoulders. So we feel our inner thighs squeezing. Feel that tailbone lengthening, the belly, the glutes are gonna be strong here. Lovely, let's take another breath. Inhale, exhale, bring your hands into prayer at heart center. Inhale to create that extension. Exhale, the left elbow hooks the outside of that right thigh. 
Press through your palms, use that pressure to maybe rotate even further. Let's take two breaths. One more. Inhale, exhale, sweeping those arms to the sky. Inhale, expanding. And then as you exhale, release the hands to the earth. Inhale, tuck the back toes under, lift the knee. Exhale into a high plank position. Heels press away, reach the crown of the head forwards. Inhale, exhale, lower knees, chest and chin. So squeeze the elbows into the sides. Inhale, sliding through baby cobra, shoulder blades down the back. Exhale to lower, press back, tuck toes. Find that downward facing dog. Lovely, keep lifting those hips even higher. Let's take one more breath. Beautiful. So inhale, we're going to reach that left leg to the sky. Exhale, bend the knee and open those hips. Split that dog. Left shoulder dropping down. Reaching that knee higher. Inhaling. Exhale, knee to the nose. Step the foot between the hands. Drop that back knee down. Untuck those toes. Inhale, sweeping the arms up. Exhale, relax those shoulders. Thigh squeezed, elbow lengthening, belly active. Inhale, exhale. Inhaling, exhale, hands into prayer at heart center. Inhale to create that lift and then exhale, right elbow, hook it to the outside of the thigh. Press through the palms. We're trying to lift that belly away from our thigh. Find that create that sort of space so we can create a deeper twist. Two more breaths. One more. Beautiful. Inhale. Exhale, sweep the arms to the sky. Inhale, expanding tall. Exhale, hands to the earth. Inhale, tuck back toes under, lift the knee. Exhale, high plank. Inhaling. Exhale again, knees, chest and chin. Squeeze those elbows. Inhale, slide it through. Baby cobra, shoulder blades down. Exhale, lower, press back, tuck toes. Downward facing dog. Breathing in. Breathing out. One more here. Beautiful. Inhale, soften the knees, lift the gates. Exhale, walk your way nice and gently up towards your hands. Inhale into a flat back, hands to shins, crown of head forwards. Exhale, belly draws in, soften through the knees, fall forwards and down. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, flat back. Exhale to soften and release. Inhale, the knees stay soft. Exhale, just roll up through the spine, nice and gently, nice and slowly. Shoulders, head up last. Inhale, sweeping the arms to the sky. Exhale, hands into prayer at heart center. Nice, so feet could be together or hip width distance apart, totally up to you. We're gonna inhale, sweep the arms up, and then exhale, hinge forward and fall down, length through the spine as you surrender. Inhaling into a flat back. Exhaling, the hands are down, step your right foot back. Drop down to that back knee and tuck those toes. You're gonna start to inhale, shimmy this left foot over to the left side. Exhale, turn those toes out. Sink down into those hips, so forwards and down, creating length through the spine. And then we might stay here. We might come down onto our forearms if that feels good. We might roll to the outer blade of that front foot. But we keep that support with our pelvis by keeping the core and the glutes active. So let's take three more breaths here. Last one. Beautiful, inhale. Exhale, we're on those palms. Inhale, tuck back, toes under, lift the knee. Exhale into a high plank. Nice, so we inhale here. Exhale, either knees, chest, chin, maybe chaturanga if the body feels ready. Inhale, cobra or our upward facing dogs. And then exhaling, we meet downward facing dog. So just sweeping those hips up and back. Arriving with a steady breath in and a steady breath out. One more here. 
Yeah, beautiful. Inhale, soften the knees, lift the gates. Exhale, step the right foot between the hands. Drop the back knee down and tuck those toes. Lovely. Inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale, relax those shoulders. So inner thighs squeeze, tailbone lengthens, belly active. We're going to inhale. Exhale, sweep the arms behind us and interlace our fingers. Inhale, shoulder blades down the back, lift the chest. And then exhale, fist up and down towards that back heel. I want you to keep your glutes nice and strong here and lift up through the heart space. Two more breaths. One more. Yeah, beautiful. So inhale, release the fingers. Exhale, sweep those arms to the sky. Inhale, expanding. And then exhale, hands to the earth. Inhale, tuck back toes under, lift the knee. Exhale, step that left foot forward to meet the right. Inhale into a flat back. Exhale to forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms wide, lift up with a lovely long spine. Exhale, hands into a parrot heart center. Nice, inhale, sweep those arms up. Exhale, forward fold, lengthening all the way down. Inhaling into a flat back. Exhale, the hands are down, we're stepping that left foot back. Drop down to the back knee and tuck those toes. And then we shimmy this right foot all the way over to the right side and turn those toes out. Sinking again forwards and down into our hips, creating that length through the spine. Either stay on the palms, maybe come to forearms. Maybe stay on the foot or maybe roll to the outer blade of that front foot. But create that extension here. Breathe into those tighter spaces. Three more breaths. Last one. Inhale. Exhale, we're back on those palms. Inhale, tuck the back toes under, lift the knee. Exhale, high plank. Inhaling. And then as you exhale, your flow, lowering with control. Inhale, cobra or our upward facing dog. Exhale, we meet. Downward facing dog. Steady breath in. Steady breath out. One more here. Yeah, beautiful. So inhale, soften the knees, lift the gates. Exhale, left foot steps between the hands. Drop that back knee down and tuck those toes. Inhale, sweep those arms up, finding low lunge. Exhale, relax shoulders. Squeeze thighs, tailbone lengthening, belly drawing in. Inhale, exhale, arms sweep behind us, interlacing fingers. Inhale, shoulder blades down the back, lift the chest. Exhale, fists up and back towards the heel. So again, glutes strong, keep lifting up through that chest. Two more breaths. One more. Nice, so inhale, release fingers. Exhale, sweep those arms to the sky. Inhale, expanding. Exhale, hands to the earth. Inhale, tuck back, toes under, lift the knee. Exhale, step to the top of the mat. Inhaling, flat back. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms wide, lifting up lovely long spines. Exhale, hands into prayer heart center. Beautiful, keep going. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, forward fold all the way down. Inhaling, flat back. Exhaling, hands down, your way to get to downward dog. So you could flow or you could skip it out. What feels best for your body in this moment? Tuning in. Arriving with an inhale and an exhale. One more breath here. Yeah, beautiful. Inhale, right leg sweeping high to the sky. Exhale, bend the knee, open those hips. Inhale, lifting the knee high. Exhale, knee to the nose. We step the foot between the hands. Stay on the ball of the back foot. You're gonna inhale, sweep those arms up. Let's find crescent lunge. Exhale, relax into this space. Shoulder blades just drop down the back. We try and draw right hip back, left hip forward. Lengthening the tailbone, glutes again, core nice and strong here. 
pressing the back heel away, not to have a fully straight leg, but just to feel that activation. Let's take another breath. Inhaling, exhale, hands into prayer at the heart. Inhale, create that extension, that lift. Exhale, left elbow, hook it to the outside of that right thigh. Press into those palms, revolving into that twist. Create that extension from heel to the crown of the head. Two more breaths. One more. Inhale, exhale, sweep those arms to the sky. Inhaling, exhale, open out warrior two. So shuffling those feet as much as you need to. Front heel, just kind of roughly in line with the middle of the back foot. We turn the back toes in slightly, sink into the front knee and press it out to the right side, just so we feel that activation here. Lengthen the tailbone down. Again, feel the glutes and the core engaging. Let's take another two breaths. One more. Yeah, lovely. Inhale, flip front palm, reach forward. Exhale, reaching up and over. Let's find our reverse warrior. Sliding the left arm down the back leg and we breathe into that right side of the body. Check in with that front knee. Two more breaths. One more. Inhale, exhale, return back, warrior two. Inhale, exhale, extend through the front leg, maybe bump the back leg in. We're gonna inhale, draw the hips back as we extend forwards, and then exhale, drop the right hand down, left arm extending high. And then creating that long line of energy from the bottom hand to the top hand. Spiral that chest open further. Tailbone, trying to lengthen it down. Yeah, two more breaths. One more. Beautiful, inhale. Exhale, bring that top hand to the top hip. We're gonna bring our gaze to the floor, soften into the front knee. I'm gonna have to scoot backwards. We're gonna find our um, half moon pose, so Ardha Chandrasan. Bending into that front knee, we're gonna bring our right hand out in front, maybe use a block as well. And we start to eventually float up off that left leg. Keep that left leg active here. It's gonna be much easier to stay lifted. Same with that core. Left hand could stay where it is or extend it to the sky. You got it. Let's take two more breaths. One more. Nice, inhaling. Exhale, let's try and control that descent back. Warrior two. Yeah, lovely, inhale. Exhale, pick the back heel up. We find crescent lunge. Nice, get yourself settled. Inhale, we're gonna ground down through that right foot. Exhale, we're gonna draw that left knee and leap of faith, finding that balance. You're gonna draw that left knee open out to the side. I'm gonna find tree pose, Rikshasan. Maybe foot to the calf, maybe into the thigh. You always have your toes balanced to the floor. Finding that space. Feeling again, glutes, core nice and strong. And we breathe. Two more breaths. One more. Beautiful. Inhale, you're going to sweep this left knee up. Exhale, set the foot down and sink into chair pose. Udkutasan. One lovely breath. Inhale, exhale to dive forwards, Uttanasana. Inhaling, flat back. Exhale, hands down, your way to downward dog. You can choose to flow. You can choose to skip it out. But we arrive when we're ready. Steady breath in. Steady breath out. One more here. Beautiful, inhale, sweep that left leg to the sky. Exhale, bend the knee, open those hips, split that dog. Inhale, we lift that knee higher and then exhale, knee to the nose, step the foot between the hands. 
staying on the ball of that back foot inhale sweeping those arms up creating that crescent lunge exhale relax those shoulders again we adjust left hip back right hip forward tailbone lengthening belly glutes nice and strong here feel that back leg engaging let's just take one more breath inhaling and then exhale hands into prayer at heart center inhale to create that length and then exhale right elbow hook it to the outside of that left thigh press through those palms rotate into that twist kick the back heel reach through the crown of the head two breaths here one more beautiful inhale exhale sweep those arms up nice and high inhaling exhale open out warrior two Again, adjust that stance accordingly, just creating a space that feels comfortable for your body, sinking into the front knee, pressing it out, and feel your thighs sort of externally wrapped, so wrap outwards. It's gonna help to create that activation in the glutes, as well as keeping that tailbone lengthening, belly strong. Reach through those fingertips. Let's take two more breaths. One more. Lovely. So inhale, flip front palm, reach forward. And then exhale, extending up and over, reversing that warrior. Reach through those top fingertips, breathing into that left side body, letting that right arm slide down the back leg. Let's take two breaths. One more. Inhale. Exhale, return back, warrior two inhaling exhale extend through the front leg you might want to bump the back leg in inhale draw those hips back reach forward exhale left hand down right arm to the sky finding trikonasan lengthening tailbone keeping the glutes strong thighs firm reach through those fingertips two more breaths one more Lovely, so inhale, exhale, bring the top hand to the top hip. Let's bring our gaze down, start to soften into the front knee, bring that left hand out in front of us, maybe to a block. And we start to just gently ooh, fall over, maybe as we float up off that right leg. See, I fall over too. <laughs> Engage that lifted leg, feel that core nice and active. And then maybe we stay with our right hand where it is, or we extend it up to the sky. Two more breaths. One more. Inhale. Exhale, let's try and control that descent back. Finding warrior two. Lovely. Inhale. Exhale, sweep those arms high. Pivot that back heel up. Let's find crescent lunge. So again, get yourself nice and settled here. Grounding through that front foot. We're gonna inhale, bring that weight forward. Exhale, leap of faith, draw that right knee in. Find that balance, so core and glutes strong. When we're ready, we can open that knee out, foot maybe to the calf, to the thigh. Always have your toes again, resting on the floor for that balance. But keeping that activation through this sort of stability center is gonna be really, really helpful here. And we breathe. Two more breaths. One more. Beautiful. So inhale, you're going to float this right knee up and then exhale, you're going to set the foot down, sink into those hips, chair pose, Udkatasan. One breath. Inhale, exhale to dive forwards. Inhaling into a flat back and then exhaling hands down your way into downward facing, whether that's flowing or just going straight there. When you arrive, just taking a lovely breath in and a lovely breath out. One more here. 
Beautiful. Inhale. And then exhale, drop to your knees, find child's pose. Sink the hips to the heels, releasing the forehead to the earth. And then walk your hands over to the left side. Your hands might come off your mat. The right hand might come on top of the left. But just sinking those hips back down as you breathe through the side waist. Three breaths. Last one. Beautiful. So inhale, walk your hands through center. And then exhale, walk them over towards the right. Left hand can always come on top of the right here. Again, sink into those hips. Breathe into that left side. Three breaths. Last one. Beautiful. So inhale, bringing those hands to center. And then exhale to walk your hands in and lift the torso up. You're going to scoot the, hip, the hips over to one side as you bring your legs out in front of you. And you might want to sit up on a cushion or a block here. I find that to be quite helpful sometimes. And we're going to come into fire log pose. So we're going to start to bring our right shin out in front of the left shin. And we're just going to cross our shins out in front of each other for this variation. I just want you to wiggle your feet sort of as far away from each other as they can. And the shins are kind of just roughly about parallel to the top edge of that mat. And the feet are sort of wiggling away so that when we look down, we have this kind of rough square shape. And that's, we're not going to bother about sort of exactly what our body looks like because we're all so different. But when we're ready, we're going to bring our fingertips by our hips. We're going to inhale, press down, create that length. And then as you exhale, start to lean forwards. And then maybe we walk our hands out in front. And then maintaining that length, I want you to inhale. Exhale, walk your hands over towards the left side. Breathing here. Every inhale, we lengthen. Every exhale, we soften. We could close our eyes, perhaps, if that feels good. We're going to take five breaths. Last two breaths. Beautiful. So inhale to lift the head, lift the chest. Exhale, walk your hands back into center and then walk your hands back in, lift all the way up. Nice. We're going to just change over the cross of the legs now. So bringing that left shin out in front wiggling those feet so they're nice and far away getting those hips settled fingertips by those hips we inhale press down create length and then exhale start to lean forwards walking those hands in front inhale we're going to lengthen and then exhale we're going to start to walk our hands over towards that right side now every inhale lengthening every exhale softening down and close those eyes, breathe into this space, five breaths. Last two. Beautiful. So inhale to lift the head, lift the chest. Exhale, walk your hands into center. And then let's walk our hands and lift all the way up. We're going to draw our knees up. We're going to place our feet onto the earth. So moving any props that we might be sitting on out the way. And then ground down through those toes, engage our belly muscles, reach our arms forwards. Inhale, exhale, just lower for five. Breathe for four, three, 
two and then one. Hug those knees into the chest, give yourself a big squeeze. A little roll from side to side. Beautiful. We pause in center, let's start to draw our right knee in, and extend our left leg long. Left foot flex and active as you just start to gently squeeze that right knee in around the side of the rib cage in towards that shoulder. I'm going to take three breaths here. One more. Inhale. And then as you exhale, use your left hand, draw the knee across. You might want to bump your right hip oh sorry, left hip over towards the middle as you draw the right knee across. Right arm out at shoulder height, palm up, and just let that shoulder blade release to the earth. You can be nice and passive here, nice and gentle. So you take some really nurturing breaths down into your belly, find that release through your spine. Two more breaths. Inhale. And then as you exhale, draw the knee back to center. Reset those hips. Give that knee another big squeeze in. Inhale. And then exhale, extend the right leg long, flexing the foot. Draw your left knee in. Okay, squeezing that knee in again round the side of the rib cage, hugging it in nice and close in towards the shoulder. We'll take three breaths here. Beautiful. Inhale. Exhale, use that right arm, draw the knee across. Bump the right hip towards the center. As you open your left arm out, finding that lovely spinal twist. Left shoulder blade releasing to the earth. And again, you can be nice and relaxed here, nice and passive. Let your body release. Two more breaths. Inhale, and then exhale to draw the legs back to center. Reset those hips, give that knee a squeeze in. Inhale, and then exhale to draw both knees in. Give yourself a lovely hug. Little roll from side to side. Let's find happy baby. Separate those knees, flex the feet, lift the heels up. Again, maybe backs of thighs, above ankles, big toes, outer blades of the feet. You might notice that it feels a little bit different now. It might feel quite similar. Just breathing into your body. I'm going to take three lovely breaths. Last one. Beautiful. So inhale, release. Exhale, draw your knees in. Give yourself a final wonderful squeeze. And we're going to find Shavasana. Always the best part of practice. So just letting those legs be long. If you have any bolsters or cushions that you want to place under the body, you're welcome to. If it doesn't feel comfortable like this, you can always have the feet on the floor. You can even roll off to the side and come into a sort of fetal position. That feels quite nice sometimes. And those arms again, maybe out to the side, palms up or resting on your body, grounding down. Just releasing any last little shuffles with those hips, with those shoulders. Closing the eyes down gently. Letting the eyes drop into the back of the head. 
And as you drop down, imagine the eyelids behind the eyelids relaxing. And the eyelids behind those eyelids relaxing. And the whole body is in a deep, deep state of relaxation. Taking a final breath in. And on your exhale, completely letting go.
taking a lovely breath in. And then a lovely breath out. And with every breath, drawing more awareness back to the body. With every breath going deeper, drawing more life back into the body, more prana starts to circulate and that work its way all the way down to the fingers, to the toes. So when you're ready, you can bring gentle movement back to the body. And maybe you sway your head. Maybe you want to take a full body stretch. And eventually you can draw your knees in and give yourself a really beautiful big squeeze. Rolling gently to the right hand side. And then if you can, keeping those eyes closed, pressing into a comfortable seat on your mat. Bringing your hands together into prayer at heart centre. Let your thumb knuckles rest against your sternum. As you take a couple of deeper breaths. Drawing that fresh, new energy back into your body. Remembering that you are one. And your head is not separate. But instead, making a conscious effort to perhaps get out of the head and move back into the body. We spend so long thinking and analyzing and planning we often forget that our body is equally as important. That all we need to do is just drop back down and ground, come back home to ourselves. So that hip area, our root, Svadhisthana, all about connecting into who we are, connecting into our core, our essence. And instead of maybe analyzing situations, dropping into what things feel like, those emotions, how everything makes you feel, what gives you pleasure, what sparks creativity and joy. And perhaps choosing to embrace that over the mind. So all of these energies, draw them in with you. You can take them as long as you need them. Taking a full inhale. And then exhale just to let go. Of anything at all that you don't need to take with you after this practice. Let's do that one more time. Breathing in. Letting go. Come back to the breath. Come back to the intention that you set at the beginning of the practice. Carrying it with you for as long as you need it. As always, thank you for allowing me to guide you through your practice. Hari Om Tat Sat. Namaste. Thank you, beautiful ones. Have a gorgeous, gorgeous rest of your day. And I will see you all on the mat very, very soon. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.